welcome to my first vlog. My first official Dewey vlog. <laughs> Here's the thing. I have always wanted to make a YouTube channel and by always I mean um, basically when I was 12 years old I had a YouTube channel. I made really stupid silly little like YouTube music videos and little skits and stuff. When I was 12, 13 years old I fell in love with it. I loved creating and editing and stuff like that. I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel for a really long time. There is always an excuse as to why I couldn't, like I'm not interesting enough or I don't have the time. The biggest one was thinking that um, I'm just not interesting enough because I, well, especially right now, like I work from home and I don't have that poppin' of a social life and every day kind of looks very similar. Um, sorry, I need to figure out this lighting situation. Would you look at that? Would you? That's that guy right there. I decided kind of on a whim that there has never really been a better time to go on YouTube for me. Well, I like watching other people's vlogs. I like watching their routines. Sometimes I'll pick up on something that I never thought of doing or that I kind of forgot about. Taking you through my Friday. It is October 2nd. Spooky season, baby! Except that Halloween is kind of canceled this year. Because the whole pandemic thing. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It's basically winter here all year. <laughs> Usually we have like two days of fall and then it's winter for the rest of the year. This year, knock on wood, we actually have some beautiful fall weather. So I've been going outside for walks a lot, taking Dewey on walks a lot. I just freaking love that thing. This morning, woke up, did some things to my face. Now I'm going on our morning walk like a probably around a 30 minute loop around my neighborhood. I don't take my phone with me. I used to listen to podcasts or music on my walks, but uh, for the last two weeks, I've kind of switched up what I'm doing and I don't actually look at my phone first thing in the morning. At least I try not to um, for at least that first hour of waking up. Now I just know for myself that when I start my morning on my phone, scrolling social media, looking at messages, it just kind of starts my day on a, just a not so good foot. Um, I usually just feel a little bit more anxious throughout the day. Not looking at my phone other than turning off my alarm. For the first hour of my day, I have been doing this thing that none of you have probably heard of. And if you have heard of this, oh my God, we need to be best friends. We need to meet up and we need to do this exercise together because I need a partner for it. But this exercise is called Kai Lego. I guess you could call it like a law of attraction, manifestation, mindset, psychology exercise. It was created by one of my favorite, favorite people ever that I look up to very much named Kyle Cease. So basically what you do is you talk about the future as if it's already happened. Sounds a little bit weird, but let me explain. This exercise, you typically would do it out loud at back to back with a partner. I've just been doing this in my head. <laughs> Whatever it is that you hope to achieve within a certain timeline, whether it be today, you're talking about today as if it was yesterday, or a week from now, a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, three years from now. You can switch up the timeline depending on what floats your boat. For the entire 30 minute walk, I'll literally just be like thinking of things that I want to have happen to me as if they've already happened, as if I'm like looking back on the past, let's say like, three months from now or three years from now and talking about what happened 
and it's different every single day. Sometimes I'll even just Kylego about my day today and I'll be like, oh, yesterday I remember I had such a great day. Um, started my day off with a walk and came up with some really good ideas during Kylego and then when I got home, Dewey was super well behaved and we were doing our little dog training exercises and he's coming along so well and then i had like the best sessions with my clients and um blah 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 it can be smaller like that or you can go really big picture like three year goals what would you hope to achieve in three years if there were no limitations i find that for myself when i talk about things as if they've already happened rather than being like oh i hope this happens in the future um this is what i want to achieve these are my goals if i talk about them or i guess think about them as if they're already true as if it's already happened my mind just like completely opens up of opportunities or ideas even um funny enough i actually came up with the idea of starting this vlog <laughs> during uh, a Kalego on one of my morning walks this week. I can't necessarily explain it, why it works so well as much as maybe Kyle Cease could because he came up with it. That is what I do for my 30 minute walk. No podcasts, no music. I just think about my dream future. And I've been doing that for two weeks now and I feel really good doing it. And that's part of my morning routine. We are gonna go on our walk now and I will see you when we get back. stevia in my coffee. The stevia that I always use was a brand called Stevia in the Raw. Now for some reason I can't find it anymore. It's just out of three of the grocery stores that I go to right now. So what I bought instead is Blenda Stevia Packets. They're actually mostly erythritol which is an artificial sweetener or a sugar alcohol which let me just start off by saying artificial sweeteners are totally okay they're not gonna kill you they're not gonna make you fat however I have noticed very recently that when I am consuming erythritol my tummy is not happy and I tend to get kind of gassy and I'm not about that life to be honest so I actually haven't been using these things that I bought because immediately upon using them, my stomach just felt gross. We are using real brown sugar. At this point in my life, I am not concerned about adding extra calories to my coffee, which before was a huge deal. There's no way in hell I would have added real caloric sugar to my coffee if I couldn't have had my sugar-free stevia concoction I would have just had it black now at this point in my life I really don't care if I add an extra 30 or 50 calories to my coffee in order for it to taste good and honestly guys that is growth for me I'm really proud of myself just in case you um, ever feel like you shouldn't add sugar to your coffee or have a delicious chai latte every once in a blue moon. Um, just know that you're- Do with it. And those calories are not gonna kill you. They're not gonna make you fat. They're not going to ruin your progress. And you deserve to enjoy delicious drinks. So that is my morning coffee inspiration for you guys.
just wanted to keep my long sleeve shirt on for my walk because I didn't want to be cold. Edmonton weather is typically either really, really hot for a couple months in the summer or really, really, really cold for like the other eight months of the year. Luckily this fall, we seem to be getting some actual fall weather. However, in the mornings, if I just like went out in like, a, let's say a sweater or like a, a light jacket, I would be okay, but like I would be uncomfortable enough to the point where I would be rushing through my walk. And if Dewey like wanted to like sniff the grass or something like that, I would get super impatient because I was just like dragging him and trying to get him to go so that we could go inside. And that's not really how I want to spend my morning. I'm trying to get over my default which is to always be rushing. I'm always rushing through things. Whatever I'm doing, I typically get into a mindset of, oh, I just need to get this done. I just need to get this over with. Something I'm really trying to practice recently is just being more present. Sorry, my nose is running and I don't know if you can tell, so I'm just gonna dab dab the nostrils. I really want to be more present in my life and, and not just be constantly looking for the next thing. For a long time, the way that I was operating was literally like I would wake up and I would rush through getting ready so I could start my walk and then I would rush through my walk with Dewey, dragging him, not letting him sniff the grass, just trying to get it over with so that I could get home and, and start my work day. And then I would rush through my work day activities so that I could do have my lunch break. And then I would rush and eat food really fast so that I could get back to work. And then I would rush through the rest of my evening getting work done until I could be done my work for the day. And then I would rush through getting ready for bed so that I could have dinner. And then I would rush through dinner so that I could go to bed. I feel like I'm not the only one that has that like, that default rushing through life type of mentality. And obviously I, that's not good. Like I don't want to constantly be doing things as a means to an end. I want to actually enjoy every day as much as I can, even if it's a mundane activity such as walking my dog or, you know, replying to emails or cleaning my dishes. I don't want to just be rushing, rushing, rushing through it. Same with eating. I would typically just like shovel food in my face and just like get it over with so I could go do something more productive. Whereas now I'm really trying to like slow down and enjoy all of my meals. So how does that relate to the walk? Well, I basically have been just like layering up beyond ridiculousness in the mornings for my walks. And by that I mean, I wear at least one long sleeve sweater, if not two. And then I have two jackets that I wear and two pairs of pants and two pairs of socks in October. Um, not because I necessarily need to, but because it just feels cozy. I'm actually like enjoying my walk and I don't have to worry about, I don't know, my, my arms getting cold or whatever or feeling uncomfortable to any degree so I can really just like take my time on my walk. So I've been trying to look for opportunities for things like that to do throughout my day that make even the smallest things more enjoyable or less likely for me to rush through them. Did my Kalego, brewed myself some coffee, did a little bit of dog training for Dewey. And now I'm about to start my work day. So today is Friday, my check-in day for my online clients. So I am a, a personal trainer in Edmonton. I train people in person um, now out of my home gym, which is what I'm in right now. It's my home gym slash office. And I also have online clients. I work with um, clients virtually on their nutrition and their fitness and mindset. Um, so Friday is my check-in day, which means that all of my clients have filled out their Google form for me and I just spend the entire morning basically replying to all of my clients, um, making changes to their plan as needed, giving them my feedback. I also have a few client calls today, so I actually have one coming up in 20 minutes. Then I'm going to do some computer stuff, then I'll probably have lunch and for another walk then i have a couple other calls in the afternoon and then i'm not really sure what i'm going to get up to but i am off a little bit earlier today typically on fridays i will have the evenings off whereas throughout the week i typically have training clients in the evenings because of course 
people want to work out and train after work so that's typically when i train them so fridays i'm usually off early um i just have my online client staff and then I'll see what I get up to the rest of the day, but I am gonna get cracking on some client check-ins, prepare for my call, drink my coffee, and I will see you guys soon. It's time for some lunch, baby. I am a creature of habit, and I tend to fall into these periods of time, and by periods, I mean several months to years where I eat the exact same meals every day. This is something that I have been actually working to change this year. I've been purposely trying to incorporate more variety into my diet for multiple reasons. There was a, a part of me that was clinging on to eating the same meals every day as a form of control, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but at this point in my life, totally unnecessary. I'm not trying to lose weight, I'm not trying to control my body. I have no reason to be focusing on my nutrition to any large extent. I just want to be healthy, feel healthy, feel good, enjoy my food, and not have to think about it that much. When I started eating the same meals every day, it was several years ago when I was counting calories, when I was counting macros, when I was doing bodybuilding, and I did it because it actually just made my life way easier. I knew that those meals would be an appropriate amount of calories and the right macro breakdown for my goals. And that was fine back then, but there is a part of me that I kind of noticed was clinging on to doing that just because I knew the calories and the meals that I was eating. Um, I knew how it was going to affect my body and so I just kind of got comfortable with doing that. And I wanted to completely break free of any of my previous dieting habits and eating behaviors that were tied to that part of my life when I was overly obsessed with counting calories and macros and changing my body and, and over-exercising and that's, that's a, topic a topic for another, for another video. video. Um, so this year I've been really trying to purposely get more variety in my diet, not stick to the exact same meals every single day. However, this has been my lunch pretty much every day or at least the last month or so. I just really like it. I really, really like it. It's delicious, it's filling. I am going to show you guys my lunch. I don't eat in the mornings. This is just something that I've also done for several years. I'm not hungry in the morning. I just like to drink coffee and do other things without having to take any time cooking or eating. I usually work out in the mornings as well and I prefer to work out on an empty stomach. That's just my personal preference. That lighting is a little bit better. <laughs> um, I typically break my fast around noon. It is 12.30 right now, so gonna make a salad. A little Greek salad. I will show you guys how I make that. Side note, I am also a vegetarian. I typically eat very plant-based. There's very few things in my diet that are animal products, one of which is in this salad. I use tzatziki, which is obviously made from Greek yogurt, so a little bit of dairy. The vast majority of my diet is plant-based. Here's my Greek salad. There's a quote that I've always loved by Dr. Wayne Dyer, and he said that you don't always get in life that which you want, but you always get in life who you are. And who you are, who you are being right now in this moment, is equal to the reality that is on your external world. So the key to changing your reality is not thinking certain thoughts, it's not only focused on the surface.
best salad that has ever existed ever. Um, but don't take my word for it. You should try it for yourself, whether you want to use real chicken or not. I'm gonna eat this, probably go for a walk before my two afternoon client calls. Happy evening. <laughs> I am done with my work day. Immediately after lunch, I edited until I had my two back-to-back -back coaching calls. Those went really well. Love, love speaking to my clients so much. We always have a good time. Some laughs, some cries, it's great. Then we went for our second walk of the day. I actually just filmed and posted another YouTube video. The thing that I committed to doing every single day two weeks ago is to post a YouTube video every single day for 90 days. The reason that I decided to do that was because I was taking a course by Kyle Cease, the guy that came up with Kalego. I am part of his monthly subscription called the Absolutely Everything Pass that has all of his courses on there. And it's a video series that has some exercises on there. And one of the exercises that he had the audience do was to commit to something that's going to expand you, that scares you, but excites you for 90 days. So I decided to do YouTube and the videos that I've been posting are on a separate channel. They are public, so if you really want to go watch them, you could probably find them just by searching my name. They are completely unedited videos. So I use my webcam, I just press play and I talk into it and say whatever comes to my mind. It's basically a diary. It's really a diary. This, today was 15, my 15th day in a row. Now I'm thinking for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to edit some more of this vlog and I'm not sure. Eat some food later, I don't know what yet. Honestly, probably going to, disclaimer, if you are under the age of 18 or 19 slash if you don't live in Canada and this happens to be illegal where you live, then I'm sorry, but I might do a little, smoke a little cannabis later. Honestly, it is something that I have been doing pretty regularly for the last couple of weeks or so. I've had some really horrible cannabis experiences in the past but I've kind of got a handle on dosages and stuff. I like to do it at the end of the night to really relax, to be honest, and just like let my mind go places that it typically doesn't go when I'm in my regular day-to-day -day state. I've had some pretty neat experiences over the last couple of weeks when I have had a little bit of cannabis typically in some meditation i will come to a really crazy realization or come up with an idea it's just i feel like it allows me to access parts of my brain that i typically don't get to access so i do do that sometimes i will close off this vlog later on when i make some food i'll show you what i make because i guess this is just a full day of eating now This is my yoga shirt, in case you didn't see that. So the vlog. iMovie goes and says, disk storage is full, cannot upload any more content. I need to clear the disk space. No problem, let me just go clear the disk space on my laptop. So I do that, right? I get rid of everything, everything. Memories, photos and you know emails and documents from when i was in school that i never got rid of because what if i need it one day i got rid of it all and it says the exact same message every time i go to upload a clip from my camera onto imovie so i have a vlog that's halfway done 
and I don't know if I can even put the other half on there. So I'm just continuing to record my night just in case I figure this shit out. But I just feel kind of unmotivated to film now because it's like, what's the point? Am I even gonna be able to make the video? But then I tell myself, I promised this was going to be a fun process that I was going to enjoy the journey when I go on YouTube and I don't want there to be any stress with it. I don't want there to be any pressure. I just want it to be something that I do because I want to do it and not because I have to do it. I don't really think it matters that I might not have a finishing product and that I might just need to throw this entire day in the trash. But that's okay, because I actually had fun filming, even if I'm the only one that's ever going to see it. So, vlog, 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 vlog. I am gonna make some food. Not sure what yet. All I had today was that salad and one coffee. 7.37 in the evening. Probably just gonna make oatmeal because that's what 22 year olds eat on a Friday night for dinner is oatmeal. With some almond butter and banana and chocolate chips. That sounds amazing. I love that for me. This idiot ran me off the road. Oh man. Hey Mitch. This is very important. Mm -hmm. Unique hitter. I have you. You're a medicine man.